Thank you very much. Uh, I wish to officially welcome you, Britain, and thank you for taking time to have a discussion with myself. Uh, with regard to the industry, the results for last year are not yet out, as you would expect, this being January. But the year last year, the last year was uh, quite a difficult one, no doubt. But compared to 2016, it was better. Because 2016, the industry did not grow at all. In fact, general business dropped by 3% for the first time in the history of the market. Now, um, of course, there are a number of reasons that relate to that. Having said that, I want to believe 2017, most players did better than the previous year. And um, there are a number of things that took place in the course of the year that affect the industry in a number of ways. Uh, key, of course, the insurance law that was passed. And I think with the government, the parliament, that that law is going to go a step in improving the performance of the industry. No doubt about that. Secondly, last year, the Minister of Finance, while reading the budget statement, spoke about marine insurance, which we've been advocating for as an industry, that there's a law already in place. Please enforce it. What is the law? The law says every property in Uganda and the imports into the country should be insured locally. Remember, Uganda is a net importer. That means we spend a lot on importation. And anyone who purchases things outside the country, more often than not, buy it on CIF. Now, you must change your dollar, your shillings into dollars to pay for insurance outside of this country. But should the loss occur, you don't know our clients, our, uh, sorry, our business people, our investors in the country, don't know which insurer took up the policy. So they cannot even claim. If they claim, they have to rely on the goodwill of the sale of the goods. We're saying here we can offer you the same cover at the same price where it is easier to claim. Secondly, we don't have to put pressure on our local currency. We don't have to get shillings, buy dollars to pay insurance outside the country. We are exporting jobs, as President Seveni many a time says. So in that case, uh, the ministry supported us, and we're glad I thank government for that on behalf of the industry, where I'm the vice chairman of the session. Secondly, workers' compensation. We say in government, telling government, please enforce this law because all of us are workers in case of any injuries, we want people protected. Uh, the other areas is, the, of course, I mentioned already the insurance law. Amongst them, the introduction of cash and carry. Incidentally, this is happening in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Rwanda, it's only Uganda, and, to, and I think it's in South Sudan. It's only Uganda where premiums for insurance are paid after 30 days, 60, 90 days, sometimes even longer. And that affects the solvency of some players and the capacity to settle claims timely. Now, the new law provides that premiums should be paid up front. Of course, uh, this is going to be enforced this year after we, as an industry, done enough uh, publicity, at least for our clients, prepare them for the new shift. I must, however, say many of the clients and intermediaries were already doing this, and we must thank them. Now, that is going to greatly improve the performance of the industry. The other area I want to touch on in the market is oil and gas. Oil and gas currently, as an industry, we are not happy because insurance is not gazetted and the local content, or if it is, most of the companies involved in the sector are actually buying insurance outside the country. We are again, like I said on marine, exporting jobs and taking away income that would ideally be invested here, taxes, employment, and many other things. This morning we're in a meeting with the regulator, uh, as um, the vice chairman, like I said, with the Association of Insurers. At the EC, we met the regulator, and he was equally surprised and disappointed, and we're going to take this up with uh, Petroleum Authority of Uganda, so that all these heavy equipment coming in the country is insured locally. All the works that are going on are insured locally. What is currently insured here are only the stuff, and probably vehicles and a few other things. So we're saying government please support us to grow the industry. We say penetration is the lowest in Uganda compared to any other country in the region, including even Rwanda, where most of them are above 2%. Ours are still not yet 1%. So we ask for government support in these areas because the laws are already in place, all what we need is enforcement. 
Yeah. So with regard to Britain, last year I must say was a very good year, despite the challenges. First of all, of course, we are in our own property, as you can see, which we acquired from AIG uh, after a very competitive bidding process. Um, of course, I always say, as soon as this property became available, and having had most of the sales team of AIG join Britain, contrary to what some other players were claiming about the joining uh, them, many of them are with Britain, they were happy that we brought them back home. Because my board said, whatever the price anyone puts in, we'll put in a price that will beat everyone, and indeed that's what happened, and we're glad to be here. This, of course, is a statement of intent and also a clear confidence to the market that we're here for the long haul. Having started a new company, asset management, last year, in July, we've acquired this property where we're sitting today, and a lot more to be done in this country. Uh, with regard to performance of the company, these are provisional results, gentlemen, because um, they're not yet they're being audited now. But I want to believe there will be no significant change. I can confidently say we grew by over 40 percent, about 45 percent. Top line and bottom line, we doubled our profitability because we are a very professional company with the best reassurers and the strongest around the world. That means the business we do the privilege to be ensuring all the top-end institutions almost in this country and government as well. And we're also proud to say we are the best insurers in travel insurance, international travel, engineering insurance for all these projects. Of course, many of you are aware, Britain insures the Kampala Interim Expressway. We insure the new Nile Bridge, the Cable Bridge along the River Nile, which is hopefully going to be completed this year. We ensure the expansion of the International Airport at Entebbe, currently taking place over $200 million. So we are privileged to be the insurer of choice of most government projects. And we look forward to doing a lot of that in 2018. Sorry. Uh, of course, there is SGR, the Standard Gauge Railway. There is uh, Kampala Ginger, among as many other projects. Now, what I'm saying is, uh, yes, we are the insurer that, of choice for such projects. I will be glad and we look forward to covering them. I hope that's in natural is what happened in the industry last year. If you give me my, ask me about a guess of where we think the market will be this year, I mean, when the numbers are out, plus or minus five, probably 10% growth. General business, I'm talking about general business. Okay, and as Britain, we posted 44% growth, like I said. Thank you.